Before we can complete our simple level, we'll need to add players, monsters, weapons, scenery, and specific polygon types. To do this, we'll need to use our skull tool to add objects to the map. This is a fairly straightforward process. Clicking on the map, we'll call up the Edit Object dialog, where we can select Monster, Scenery, Object, Player, Goal, and Sound. We've already placed a player, so to start, we'll add a monster, a fighter major, and we'll change the direction he's facing. We'll have him activated by the player, meaning that the monster will spring to life only when the marine approaches it. Other options include making the monster invisible, making the monster transport into the room and fall from the ceiling, making the monster blind, which means you'll have to make some noise before it detects you, and making the monster deaf, meaning that the monster will not be activated by the sound of nearby gunfire. Next, we'll place an object. Using the skull tool, we'll click on an area of the map where we want to have the object placed. We'll choose Object from the Group menu, and then we'll select Missile Launcher from the Type menu. Finally, we'll place a piece of scenery. Again, using the Skull tool, we'll click on an area of the map where we want to have the item placed. We'll choose Scenery from the Group menu, and then we'll select Alien Trash Can from the Type menu. To keep RAM requirements down, Forge will only display scenery in visual mode. But we can see our trash can. For more detailed explanation of the many object placement options, take a closer look at the Forge manual. It will also explain the use of specific polygon types, such as zone borders and monster triggers, which are used to optimize object and monster placement. After we've completed this step, we can merge our map to make it playable. A level, once completed, should always be merged. The merging process precalculates platforms and other areas of the map and makes it slightly faster. It also allows for the addition of chapter screens, chapter sounds, terminals, terminal pictures, and individual level physics. And gets rid of the annoying, not made with Bungie tools, startup message. For specific instructions on merging your map, please see the Forge Manual.